Good evening, everyone. I'm student meteorologist Jay Carstens with your 4FSU social media update. Jumping right into things with the local radar, a lot to talk about, especially in the northern parts of our viewing area up into South Georgia. Bainbridge, Mariana, they've been hit very hard with rain throughout the day. That rain has been training in the last few hours and lead, leading to some pretty high rainfall totals over the past 24 hours. Mariana, over two inches of rain, this little bubble of yellow right here, representing rainfall totals above two inches. Not as much in Tallahassee at about a half an inch, but again, that'll be increasing as the week goes on. Some estimates have been as high as four inches for the city of Tallahassee. Around the area, temperature-wise, 72 here in Tallahassee, 64 in Bainbridge where that rain has been hitting hard, 65 in Mariana. You can see where the rain has been hitting by where these yellows, these lower temperatures are located. Areas off to our east like Perry are a little bit warmer. You see Perry sitting at 74 degrees right now. Now let's talk about the winds. Not really much in terms of speed, but you notice these differing directions here. Coming out of the southeast in Tallahassee, you look towards Valdosta, though it's coming out of the northwest. This can help you to indicate where exactly the stationary front is located that's been producing all this rainfall. As the winds tend to flow in opposite directions, parallel to where the front is located. So you just imagine this front being situated right along this line, cutting through Monticello right now where the uh, winds are light and variable at this, uh, at this moment. Humidity is very high, as you would expect with all this rainfall. 100% in Thomasville, 100% in Mariana. Again, where the rain has laid off for much of the afternoon, it's a little bit lower, but still muggy, 75%. Uh, down in St. Mark's. Now let's talk satellite and radar for the entire southeast and it's a pretty cool feature here. You see this big uh, cloud cluster that's just continuing to pump rain in from the Gulf of Mexico into central Florida. We had a nasty squall line come through parts of Orlando even in towards uh, Daytona Beach earlier today with some pretty strong wind gusts and some storms sticking around with a lot of lightning down in West Palm Beach around Tallahassee again most of the rainfall stayed up to the north. There is a chance of rain tonight and into Saturday and Sunday. Let's look ahead and see exactly what is going to be happening. This front through Friday night is going to be stalled out still over our region with rainfall being a possibility throughout the evening into Saturday morning continuing, but we're going to see this front begin to transition into a warm front, and as we go through the day on Sunday, it's going to gradually push its way out of the area, move towards central and south Florida. You don't see it yet here because we're only going through Saturday afternoon as of now, starting to get into Sunday morning here, but again, it's going to start uh, moving its way out after Sunday's uh, pretty rainy event. Again, we could see uh, a handful of inches of rain around Tallahassee. Tonight, 66 degrees. Showers and thunderstorms are a likelihood, so umbrellas are going to be a necessity if you're going to go out and enjoy your Friday night plans. Winds coming out of the south, southeast at five miles per hour, much like they are right now. So staying pretty mild out there at least. 74 degrees for a high tomorrow. So again, pretty uh, close to average. But again, those showers and thunderstorms are going to be hanging around all day. Winds coming out of the south, southeast, but five to 10 miles per hour. Now let's talk the next seven days because even though Easter is not really looking too good, the bunnies hopping, but that rainfall is going to be falling still with those temps uh, hanging in the mid lower to mid 70s. Monday and Tuesday is where things start to be looking a little bit nicer. 77 degrees on Tuesday under partly cloudy skies, and the sunshine is going to be continuing into Tuesday or in, into Wednesday before a new frontal system makes its way in on Thursday and Friday. Was, we'll, ha, we'll monitor that throughout the week, but those rain chances are going to be there. Uh, it could be another one of those weekends for us, unfortunately. But again, we have some days to look forward to, Monday through Wednesday especially, with those temperatures sitting gorgeously in the uh, upper 70s. So that's all I have for you tonight. Have a great weekend, everyone.